Today, we're gonna work on the pedal cluster for the chassis, the 65 Beetle. Here's the pedal cluster. It needs to be rebuilt. Got all kinds of parts here from Wolfsburg West. New rubber for the pedals. This gets all rusted out down here. And there's bushings, all kinds of stuff. We gotta get this pin out of here. We gotta pull the shaft out. There's a clip on here and some other junk. All right, let's see if we can get that pin out of there. We're gonna put it in a vise and hopefully drive that sucker out. I think it's moving. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I got a little free all in there. Hopefully that'll help. Yeah, it's coming out, guys. The trick is, will this get too thick before we get it all the way out? Yeah, it got a little too thick, but we are practically out. We're close, real close. If we can get that pin out of there. I'll get some pliers or vice grips on there. Let's try these. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's coming. It's almost out. I might have mushroomed the head of it, which would not be good. Come out. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's the end that's a little beveled, it looks like. Beveled? Is that the right word? Well, that's interesting. That pin is shorter. I wonder if I got the wrong one. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we go to drive it in. Hopefully it fits. Well, we need to be able to hold it without it moving. Ah, uh, that sucker's on there. She's on there pretty good. We got the pin out. That should slide off now. All right. Come on, baby, You're so close. We definitely got it to move a little bit. Whew. It's coming, holy moly. You guys getting all that? They didn't tell me it's gonna be this hard. Ear hammer probably would've been good. Woo! <laughs> well, she got a little character on her now, but that's all right. It'll work, I think. <laughs> that pin has a clip on it and it's all rusted and uh, so we need to try to get that clip off of there. All right, check it out. There should be some little holes right here to get this off. Yeah, they're just filled with grease and rust, dirt. Okay, and then we got these channel locks these things are awesome so should work put these in the hole here and they're kind of reverse where when you squeeze it pushes out on them I'm sure some of you guys have seen these see that 
wear your safety glasses because that thing will go flying. But you can see how it's working. Let's see if we can do this. There it goes. There it is right there. So you don't have to have these to get it off. You get it off with a couple flathead screwdrivers. But there it is. There it is. So now this pin, I think that pin should come out now. Unless it's seized in there. Let's tap on this a little bit with a brass hammer. Let's see if this will tap out. You don't want to mushroom it because then it won't go back through there. There it goes. Yeah, it's working. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. There it goes. It's sliding right out. <clears throat> well, it was. It's a little crusty in there. That spring should come off. And this thing comes apart. We'll get this all cleaned up and put it on the wire wheel. And put some, uh, just get it cleaned up really good. Get all that grease off of there. We got a new spring. So that'll be, that goes in the trash. Yeah, I think there are brass bushings in here. Um, you don't have to replace them, but if it's super sloppy, probably should. I think there's one on this side and one on this side. And yeah. And we can take these crusty rubbers off. Original VW, it's kind of cool. All right, we're getting there. A couple more little things. You gotta get this, there's a pin going through here. Holding this lever on. Hopefully it just comes right out. And then we need to get that grease fitting off of there. I guess some of them came with grease fittings and some of them didn't. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and get this grease fitting off. If it'll come off, yeah. Well, maybe we have to get this thing off first. Let's try to get that out. Hopefully this pops right out. in there pretty good. Yeah, I think it's supposed to come out that way. Rusty it is. Pretty bad. This should come right out. So I got a new one of these. I think it has that same shape. And then now the grease fitting should come out. Yep. We'll clean all that up. Make sure it works. We'll squirt some grease through it and make sure it's working. It's kind of cool. They put a grease fitting on there. All right. Let's see what happens here. I got some of that purple power or super clean or whatever this stuff is. Simple green. It all works. All right. Let's get this grease and dirt off of here.
You can see those brash bushings in there now. We'll take a close look at them. I don't want to knock them out of there if we don't have to. If it feels like it's loose when we slide it in there, we'll, we'll knock them out. All right, guys, check it out. Got all the parts out, cleaned up. I actually put this one on the wire wheel and knocked some of the rust and paint off of it. This one I still have to do. So that's what it looked like before the wire wheel. That's what it looks like after. So this one's ready for paint. I'm gonna wire wheel this one. We're gonna wire wheel this and uh, get it all cleaned up the best we can on the wire wheel. Then we might hit it with uh, a little bit of the red pad. We're gonna throw some grease through here, make sure this thing still works. Clean this up really good. But yeah, you can see all the junk came off of it. It's pretty, they were pretty gnarly. I mean, this stuff was basically clear before, like a purplish color. Yeah, so pretty gross, pretty crazy how much junk gets in there. I've been picking away at all the clay and dirt and grease that was stuck in there with uh, a couple different tools. Now you can really see the brass fittings in there. And you can see them in here. So I was just using a pick, screwdriver, and these brushes like this fit in here really good. Really helped them clean up. All right, guys, we got these all degreased, cleaned up, looking good. Let's get them on the wire wheel. There's still some junk in there I'm going to try to get out. It's hard to get in there, but I've been scraping in there with the scraper and the screwdriver and the brushes and stuff. I might hit that with some brake clean or something to get down in there. But it's coming out pretty good. I'm not sure if I want to do the bushings or not. Um, feels like, you know, when you put the... Uh, the new rod through here it feels pretty good so I don't know there is a little bit of play in there I don't know if that's normal or not maybe we'll replace the bushings um, but before we do that let's clean these up a little bit more on the wire wheel Looking pretty good. This has got a lot of rust on it. Let's check it out. Everything's real nice and clean. We've been cleaning it really good on the wire wheel and also took some Scotch-Brite and hit the uh, inside areas, put it on the vise and kind of ran it back and forth on the shaft and got everything really clean. Uh, these tight areas I dug in here with these little picks, screwdrivers. Those are the brushes I used. And I used Super Clean to do this and it worked really good. Uh, once I was done, I went and rinsed it off because it's kind of, you know, it's a little sticky. And did all this stuff on the wire wheel. Got all the uh, rust and the rest of the dirt and everything off on the wire wheel. We're gonna we're gonna hook up the grease gun to this and clean it out. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. We'll put it back in here and it greases up that shaft in there. So I'm gonna put these on the vise and see if we can knock out these bushings. Hopefully we can knock them out without screwing anything up. Let's try it. All right, so these are the new ones. Comes in a little kit, and I think they're like five bucks, seven bucks, something like that. And you can see the old one in there. It's, it looks worn. And when you put the shaft on, there is a little bit of wiggle room. And I don't expect it to be perfectly, 
perfect fit, but this should tighten it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and see if we can knock these out. Hopefully. pretty easy check it out she's a little worn out <laughs> pretty worn out look at the uh, new one the new one is saw uh yeah that sucker is worn out good Hopefully the new one fits. It look, definitely looks a little thicker. I hope it fits. We'll, uh, we'll find out. I came out real easy. I'll clean that up with Scotch Brite in a little bit. Let's, get, let's see if we can get this other one out of here. out they look pretty rough I don't know man these new ones look that's gonna be a tight fit I'm a little concerned about that new bushing it looks a little just a hair too big but Find out. All right, we got it cleaned up pretty good. Hopefully, I'm just gonna put a real tiny bit of grease. Just a tiny little bit to kind of help Maybe help slide it in. I mean, it'll, it'll push it out of the way, I guess, if it doesn't need it. All right. Let's try it. I just, it doesn't look like it's gonna fit. It looks a little too big. Just doesn't look like it's gonna fit. All right, I'm gonna try to use the vise. Hopefully. Yep. Well, those do not want to fit. I can put the original ones back in there. But what I'm thinking is maybe we can, uh, basically, if you see that, you see how we're, it's trying to squeeze over. It's just too tight. It's like they're too big. So maybe you could trim some of that back. All right, guys, these aren't gonna fit. When you put it on the shaft, this is the shaft that has to go through there. Look how wide it spreads them open. So you would have to it would have to go into that hole, spread open that far. I just don't see that being, I don't see that being accurate. But uh, for now, I'm gonna put the original ones back in. 
you know, you see that? The original ones go right in there. Hopefully they'll go back in. <laughs> Let me see, which side did I bound on? That side there. Uh, so, and they go back in with that completely shut. So, those other ones aren't going to work. I don't know. Maybe I ordered the wrong ones. I'm not sure. But look how easy the original ones go back in. They just slide back in, so... That's how they should go. That's how the new one should go. The new one should slide, should go in fairly easy, but have a bigger, you know, a little thicker, obviously, on the inside. I don't know, guys. <clears throat> Comment below if you've done it, if you know. Whoa. What happened there? We're falling apart over here, guys. Ice is coming loose. Shit. I don't know what's going on. This is not coming loose. Ah. Alright. Those should just slide right back in. Yep. That's how I was hoping the new ones would go in, but not so much. It's all good. All good. We will use the originals. All right, we got the old ones back in. The original ones are back in there. It's all cleaned out. And this shaft goes in there. It actually feels pretty tight. So I think we'll be good once we put grease on there. Actually, I think taking them out and putting them back in make them, made them fit a little bit better. <laughs> Feel pretty solid now. All right, well, that was fun. Let me, uh, <laughs> let's clean these up a little bit and get some paint on them. Real light coat. All right, I found this grease gun. Had to clean it up a little bit, but you can see I just... I just squirted that gold grease out of there. That's probably some original grease from way back. Looks pretty clean, it's gold. But you can see it coming out. And then there's the red that we're pushing through it. So it's working. It's working. That's good. <clears throat> All right, let's start putting this thing together. I think we're ready. Uh, all right, let's do it. Put some grease on here. Probably put some grease on there too. All right, let's start over here. Just double checking everything. It's getting a little messy, but we can wipe it all down once we get it all together. Just wanna make sure we got a good, nice greased up in there. That's good. That's going through there. Everything's nice and lubed up. <clears throat> and that's gonna go on there. Put a little grease in there. Just kind of getting the grease in there. Moving around a little bit and then we'll we gotta put that clip on. 
Ooh. Probably a little too much grease on everything, but that's all right. It's all right. Let's see if we can get this clip on. That clip is gonna go on here. Let's see, are we forgetting anything? I think we gotta put, before we put that clip on, I think we gotta put this on. like that. Oh. <laughs> Gotta put this on first. Where does this thing go? Oh no. This goes in here. And then should have done a dry run first. It's all right. <laughs> it's gonna be lubed up real good. Okay. This goes here. This goes here. I think. Yep. I guess that little tab just bends over and covers this from coming out. It's kind of silly design, but all right. Now, I think we can put this on. There we go. Ooh, almost. Got it. All right. Wow. Let's see if we can drive this pin through here. Uh, I don't think it matters which side you go in. Is there a bigger hole? This side. This thing better fit. I guess we could reuse the old one. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty rough. Let's see if we can get it to go in. Yeah, it's going in. too far that, that new pin is uh, a little bigger than the other one a little longer but we're in there hopefully we didn't forget something where we have to take that back out I think we're okay I think this piece goes here maybe put a little grease down in there so it doesn't make so much noise. All right, where's that pin that goes through there? This one, so now the original one, check it out. The original one didn't have a hole. The real, this is the original one, the uh, dirty one. So the new one's a little bit longer and there's a hole. I'm not sure why. Not sure why, but the original one just slid in there and just stayed there. Like there's. I don't really understand what holds it in there. It seems like it could just slide right out. You know what I'm saying? Like if you take this one out and put this one in, this one fits a lot tighter. Seems like that should be the way, it, that should be how it fits. Like, you know what? I'm gonna clean this one up and tap it in there because I, I don't think that's the right one. All right, guys. When in doubt, use the original. I cleaned up the original. Put a little grease on there. And hopefully that'll... Yeah, I think that's the way it's supposed to be. 
just fits a lot tighter. Yeah, that makes sense because that one doesn't want to pop out. That other one just wanted to pop right out. See, you can't push this one out. It's kind of like it seats in there. All right. Should have cleaned this up and reused this, but it's a little gnarled. But probably better use the original. But we drove that one in there. It's in there. It's holding. This thing's supposed to get uh, bent over. I think that's looking pretty good. That's basically it. Let me wipe some of this grease off. Oh. Forgot to put the spring on. Shoot. Let me get that pin back out. Stand by. All right, that was fun. I got it out though. Put it on the vise, smashed it out. All right, I gotta get that clip back off. That just went all the way across the shop. Got it. All right, let's try this again. The spring, pretty sure, goes on here. There we go. I guess. All right, we'll roll with that for a minute, see how that works out. Yeah, screwdriver works better. All right, guys, I'm gonna use the original pin. I messed up the other one, kind of taking it out. The original one looks pretty good. There we go. Fits like a glove. All right, guys. It's on there. Let's see if we can get the accelerator pedal on there. The grease fitting, oh man. I forgot to put the grease fitting in here. It's gonna be in the way of this thing, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, some beach. Well, the good thing is that thing pops out pretty easy. Grease fitting, there we go. Got the grease fitting on. Not sure where that grease fitting is supposed to point, but hopefully that'll be all right. We'll find out. Is that grease fitting all right like that, or does it have to go back that way? Maybe a little bit. As far as I know, that pin just sits in there like that. Nothing holds it in there except for its own, uh, just sits in there by itself. I mean, it seems to be staying in there. I think we got it set up right. Let's see if we can stick it in here. Let's 
see if kind of simulate how it's gonna go here. All right, guys, let's see if it fits. Ooh, bit of a challenge. master cylinder in after when this is put on probably huh let me uh, loosen this up I need to put the spacers in there anyway all right that helped taking out the master cylinder I guess that's probably the way you have to do it Ah, uh, so it's a little tricky getting all this stuff in and out of here, but basically this is your clutch cable lever that connects to here. This is your accelerator pivot arm or whatever, your push rod for your master cylinder on your brake pedal and your clutch pedal. So you can slide this in here. master cylinder out of the way. We're just doing a test fit. This is all going to come back out. And yeah, I did collapse these a little bit. I know a lot of you guys were telling me about those spacers that go in there. And uh, I found them. I found them in the pile, but it was too late. So anyway, I would imagine you put that in there like that and bolt this in. Get you guys a little closer here. See what's going on. The bolt, these two bolts that hold this assembly to the tunnel, okay? And they're going in. I'm gonna tighten those up real quick and then we'll put it all together and take a look at it. This is just gonna flop around because it's supposed to connect to the clutch cable. Clutch cable goes down the tube and connects to the transmission, but it's not hooked up right now. So that's just gonna kind of float there a little bit. question about that spring earlier it goes under that bolt and I don't know about this zerk fitting if it's supposed to be a certain direction to be out of the way but that looks like it's out of the way so let's hook up the master cylinder again all right here's those spacers I forgot to put in basically they go in here and they keep it from collapsing somehow not quite sure how but Let's try it. Let's see if we can get this to work the right way. Kind of. I don't know, you guys tell me. Does that spacer look right? It seems like it should go up against it, but maybe that's what those spacers are supposed to do. Keep it from collapsing, I guess. That makes, kind of makes sense. They stick out like that, is that how they're supposed to be? Let me know what you guys think. All right, so there we go, look at that. Now we got a brake pedal. There's no fluid in there, but it's, it's working. Cool. Clutch pedal is gonna be floppy because the clutch cable is not hooked up. And then this, I don't know if I have this on the right way. I might have to flip this around. Oh, I can see now why that thing doesn't come out. Okay, because it's right up against this. It's not gonna come out. Got it. Makes sense. I think I did this right, if you guys, uh, if you guys know. Maybe I need to push down on it a little more, get a little tighter. 
I'm not going to weld this piece in yet, but we can kind of just take a quick look at how this, I think, I got to see if I got this little spring on here right. I don't know if I do or not. Um. Oh wow, this is just backwards. <laughs> I got this on backwards. This little square right here in the pan is for this. It's it welded on there. Oh, that's where the accelerator cable hooks to. The accelerator cable hooks on right there. Where the hell does this go? I thought this went in here. Yeah, here's the accelerator cable. I guess that hook just hooks on here. Like so. And then there's probably a uh, uh, that spring probably goes on there to hold it. To hold it on there. The accelerator cable goes through that tube. And goes all the way down there. And hooks up to the engine. So yeah, I think that's how that goes. And that spring probably goes on the back side to hold it on. Alright guys, that's basically it, I think. That makes sense. Um, that thing right there. and. It's a little tricky getting all this stuff in here, but that hook goes there and then you put the spring on the on the on the end to hold it on maybe. I don't know. Something like that. We'll figure it out. Alright guys, stay tuned for more. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting and liking. I really do appreciate it, guys. Let me know what you think about this build. What did I screw up? Have you done it before? What about these bushings? I don't know, man. Didn't seem like those wanted to go in there. Sometimes the original's better, I guess. But uh, I think we got it. Let me know. We'll see you guys on the next one. Later. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going to get this rear window somehow, some way. Uh, I'm looking for a donor. I think I found one. It's going to be a trick, but uh, we'll get it. Stay tuned, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Later.